Part 5. That brings me back to my last bingo and what tipped me off to how Babylon was taken over by another shadow society. According to Wikipedia under Kassites, that's K-A-S-S-I-T-E-S, -S -S, quote, the Kassites were a people of the ancient Near East who controlled Babylonia after the fall of the old Babylonian Empire. They gained control of Babylonia after the Hittite sack of the city in 1595 BC and established a dynasty based in Dur something. Stop. Allow me to ask you a question, John Stranger. Doesn't this sound exactly how Tiglath Pileser came into power? And just like we discovered, the first land attack of the Sea Peoples only needed 50 years to destroy three and a half superpowers. These cats took over three in only 25 years. But well, let's continue for more clues, shall we? Quote, the Kassites were members of a small military aristocracy. What? The Kassites were members of a small military aristocracy. Hold on a second. Just as always at the bottom. Auto save. One more time. The Kassites were members of a small military aristocracy but were efficient rulers and not locally unpopular. And their 500 year reign laid the essential groundwork for the development of subsequent Babylonian culture. The horse, which the cassettes worshiped, first came into use in Babylonia at this time. Stop, bingo! This was around the birth of Uncle Moses, dead smack in the middle of the iniquity of the Amorites. We have a small military aristocracy of unknown origins take control of a world superpower and reign for over 500 years and no one is the wiser. I say unknown origins because of what they say next. Quote, the Kassite language has not been classified. What is known is that their language was not related to either the Indo-European language group nor to Semitic or other Afro-Asiatic languages and is most likely to have been a language isolate, which means a standalone language unrelated to any other. Although some linguists have proposed a link to the hero uterian language of Asia Minor, however, Several Kassite leaders bore Indo-Aryan names and they might have had Indo-Aryan elite similar to the Matini who ruled over the hero uturian speaking Hurons of Asia Minor. Stop! Bingo! I know that was convoluted, but as you can see, the Matini and the Huron were from Anatolia, Turkey. But that is not why I bingoed. Did we... Did we just read the Kassites came into power when the Hittite destroyed Babylon? If you said yes, and it was odd for you then, tell me the odds of this. According to Wikipedia under Matini, quote, the Matini were a Huron-speaking state in northern Syria and southeast Anatolia from 1500 to 1300 BC. What? Matini came to be a regional power after the Hittite destruction of Amorite Babylon and a series of inefficient Assyrian kings created a power vacuum in the Mesopotamia. Stop. Bingo, bingo. Yes. First, is it just me? Or does it seem like the Hittites only like to destroy superpowers and leave them to be ran by others? Please understand. Please understand, brother. When it comes to trying to use the biblical names to identify the his story of a people during the Bronze Age, you can forget it. Only a brash fool would use that method to anchor their theory. Why? Because they were all shadowed and taken over by those that ascended during the Bronze Age slash Emirate iniquity age. Case in point, case in point, according to Wikipedia under 
Biblical Hittites. First, the standard. Quote, the Hittites, also spelled Hittites, are a people mentioned in the Hebrew Bible under the, name, under the names children of Heath and native of Heath. They are mentioned several times as living in or near Canaan since the time of Abraham, estimated to be between 2000 and 1500 BC, to the time of Ezra after the return from the Babylonian exile, around 450 BC. Their ancestor, Heath, is said in Genesis to be the son of Canaan, son of Ham, son of Noah. Stop. Okay, pretty basic and a no-brainer, huh? And you're probably wondering why I share something that completely sinks my theory, huh? I shared that with you so that you can perceive the contrast to this. Let's continue, please. Quote. In the late 19th century, the Biblical Hittites were identified with a newly discovered Indo-European speaking empire of Anatolia, a major regional power through most of the second millennium BC, who therefore came to be known as the Hittites. Therefore came to be known as the Hittites. This nomenclature is used today as a matter of, con of convention regardless of debates about possible identities between the Alatonian Hittite Empire and the Biblical Hittites. Example. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, even the modern white scholars attest, the Hittites are not who you think they are. As you can also see, the upper caste either came with or conquered a diversified lower caste to do the dirty work for them. In this case, the Huron, Matini, etc., who went under the umbrella of the Hittite people. Again, how on earth can we have so many major powers spring up so late and at the exact same time in history? Step back, take a breath, a deep breath, and read between the lines of non-understanding Gentiles. Just like I said much earlier, in earlier videos, each group that ascend upon the earth are ruled by an elite class that were not the same people as they ruled over. They were supersized and their subjects were a little above average size. The strange diversified nation the spies didn't recognize during the iniquity of the Amorites were the same nations that spread out and shadow the existing nations upon the earth. But let's finish this section out with the ending of the ruling elite cassettes and cement everything I just said. Under history, quote, the original homeland of the cassettes is not well known, but it appears to have been located in the Zagros Mountains in what now is Lestran Providence in Iran. However, the Kassites were, like the Elamites, the Gutans, and the Manes, who preceded them, linguistically unrelated to the Iranian-speaking people who came to dominate the region a millennium later. They first appeared in the annals of history in the late, excuse me, let me say this again, they first appeared in the annals of history in the 18th century BC when they attacked Babylonia in the ninth year of the reign of Samu something, which his reign was 1749 to 1712 BC, the son of Hamabari. Stop! Bingo! Guess what time in history these cats, who are not related in speech or genetics to anyone, are meant first mentioned in the annals of history in this world. Yep, while we were multiplying in Egypt, which can only mean during the beginning throngs of the iniquity of the Amorites. And did you notice who they attacked as their coming out party? Superpower Babylon. Man, talk about balls. But let's continue for more clues, shall we? 